Many local communities have a simple problem. More people are moving out than moving in. But officials say losing population can also cost communities in jobs and money. News 10's Joe Ostrowski takes a look at the newest numbers. Whether you live in a small town or a big city block, signs like these can mean big changes from someone moving in and someone moving out. But many Wabash Valley counties are seeing more people moving out than moving in. Economic development officials say that can be a problem since losing population can hurt the local economy and local governments. When you talk about strength in numbers, that certainly applies to uh, uh, communities population and, and in terms of uh, economic strength, but as well as uh, trying to attract those state and federal dollars back to our community as well. Late last week, the Wabash Valley got an update on how it's doing. According to numbers from the Census Bureau, Vigo County and Davies County both grew in population from 2011 to 2012, but that growth was less than a percent. Sullivan, Park, and Clay counties lost less than a third of a percent, and Knox, Green, Owen, and Vermilion counties lost up to one percent. Steve Witt says much of the change boils down to jobs. When you lose large employers um, like a Pfizer, you know, those jobs are very difficult to um, replace. But I would say lack of employment opportunities is certainly a strong factor in why uh, the populations are, are stagnant or, or perhaps declining a little bit. Still, he says, across the region, groups are working to grow those jobs again. And they hope those jobs will draw more people home to the Wabash Valley. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Tony Cassasia, Joe Ostrowski, News 10. Economic development officials say Vigo County's population peaked in the 1970s. They say in recent years those numbers have been improving again.